Hey there film person, I'm going to talk to you about Alice Through the Looking Glass, which is the follow-up to 2010's Alice in Wonderland. The difference is that the first film was directed by my favourite director, Tim Burton, and wasn't perhaps on par with some of his top work. This time he's just the producer, and I think you can feel it in the overall tone, which is a lot brighter and more garish. The first film, as I say, I was a bit disappointed with, but when I rewatched it I did enjoy it more. I'm not sure if I'd feel the same about this, because something about it felt quite hollow to me. I just didn't really connect with it. So the plotline is that Alice is sucked back into one's land through a mirror because the hat is the matter, as the trailer says. So she goes to see Time, played by Sasha Baron Cohen, to try and get his time device to go back in time, and what basically follows is an origin story for the Mad Hatter and for the Red Queen. It reminded me a little bit in places of Willy Wonka by Tim Burton when they did the origin of Willy Wonka, but also there was like a bit of Bill and Ted to the time travel for me. On the plus side though, Alice is a really strong lead character and I do find her quite engaging as a lead character. A lot of the extra characters I'm not so crazy on. That said, Sash Baron Cohen does a really good job of joining the cast and his performance is entertaining but also interesting. I do think he's really good. Time has some really irritating little sidekick creatures though that sound basically like that meerkat off the advert, like Alexandra or whatever. <laughs> Helena Bonham Carter's character I always find quite funny, although I know some people complain that she's a bit shouty. Basically, she's just Lizzie from Blackadder. Anne Hathaway still pisses me off. She just kind of glides around being all, like, floaty. It just irritates me. I don't really know. I just find it a bit wishy-washy and drippy and a bit over the top. Johnny Depp's accent seems to have calmed down since the first movie, where it was a bit too much for me. I seem to like him better when he's depressed, so maybe... You know, Alice should have abandoned this completely reckless mission to destroy time. She should have just left him depressed so that, you know, he's a bit more likeable, less irritating. Obviously, hearing Alan Rickman's voice for the last time was an emotional moment for me as well. Plotline-wise, there was more of a structured narrative and it flowed a bit better, I would say, than the original film. But somehow it just felt very hollow to me and it didn't, like... I can't imagine engaging with it, um, and I don't, they're not characters I wanted to know any more about, so it felt a bit pointless, but obviously the point is it made shitloads of money, so they're going to make a load more with this. I just didn't feel it needed to be done. For me, one was enough, but what did you guys think? Do you think I'm being too harsh? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey there, did you like that video? Of course you did. Then click the subscribe button right there. You could even win some movie tickets. Want to see more of my stuff, Goldilocks? Head to this button right here. Go on. You know you want to.